What it do, YouTube? I know I'm like a day late, but I'm still going to say it anyway. It's that time of week again. Like, a uh, reason why I'm a day late, work has been murdered. I tell you, man. Like, it's like, and also, I want to discuss a channel update real fast. I'm going to be uploading Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And the reason why I'm updating it again is the fact that, like, I know a lot of the subscribers, I'm not, I want to put, I'll put a couple, like, I know Unknown Species, uh, Taz Man, like, a whole lot of y'all want to, want to, are about to start your YouTube channels and stuff, and I want to actually make some time for myself to actually sit back and watch YouTube videos, like, if I just miss one day because of me working, I wouldn't be able to actually watch youtube videos like uh, usually i'm i'm really on top of watching youtube videos try to comment on them like on them like them but like if i miss one day i fall i fall extremely behind so like um, that's the whole reason for me changing the whole the whole um uploading schedule now i did a uh a stream this afternoon and like i'm tired i'm just i'm just gonna say it like this I'm, I'm tired of youtube i'm tired of youtube streaming like honestly i think i might have to take it to twitch so uh, with that being said, I'm going to leave the link in the Twitch, the Twitch uh, channel in the description so you guys can go click on that, like it. I'm, I'm not sure how exactly how that works yet. I'm still working out the kinks on that. And uh, I didn't forget about you, Unknown Speech. I know I was uh, drafting the team and then the, the stream just went out. But yeah, I didn't forget about you. I, I'm not going to redo the I'm not gonna redo the team. I'm just going to keep the team the way it is. And uh, we're going to try to make, try to free up some time to get that game in. We're going to try to free up some time to get that game in. But, like I said, it's that time of week again. And we're going to kick it off with exactly what took the Miami Dolphins so long to cut. Bryce McCain and Quentin Copels. Jason, well, Jason Fox got cut two weeks ago. But really, what took us so long to cut uh, Bryce McCain? Should have That should have been the first act of duty as soon as the season was over. Should have cut Bryce McCain. Um, as you know, I've been extremely critical of Bryce McCain. He's been a terrible, terrible corner for the Miami Dolphins. Honestly, he should never see anywhere near the to the outside corner spot. He's a, he's a he's a he's a good nickel corner, but as far as him being a starting outside corner, I don't recommend that. I'm rec I'm saying that to all y'all NFL fans out there. Don't matter what team you what team you like. Pittsburgh Steelers. I know he came from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Played for the uh, Houston Texans. But any any team that he plays for next year, I'm just giving you that warning. That boy cannot check on the outside. He can only cut. He can only check the uh, nickel corner. Now the other player that got cut for the Miami Dolphins was uh, Quentin Copels. And I said this in the in the offseason preview video, which is what was going to be extremely interesting. How the Miami Dolphins were going to actually try and take care of this whole defensive line uh, situation considering how Olivier Vernon's hitting free agency uh, if we're going to keep Cam Wake if we're going to keep Derek Shelby or we're going to keep Deion Jordan and we're going to keep uh, um, uh, did I miss somebody? Quentin Copels <laughs> Quentin Copels so it's going to be extremely interesting to see exactly what happens with that like considering how Quentin Copels is, uh, is, is getting cut and it's good, it's good to see the fact that Mike Tannenbaum doesn't exactly have a say in exactly what's going on. Um, so basically, with that said, I, I really think they're going to try to make an extremely strong push to actually keeping Olivier Vernon. Now, consider how they're getting rid of Quentin Copels. Maybe, the, maybe they'll try to get, keep uh, Derek Shelby and get rid of, uh, I hate to say get rid of. I'm afraid to say they will get rid of Cam Wake. But time will tell. T time will really tell. But with that being said, I, like, like who's next for the Miami Dolphins to be bouncing up out of there? My money, my money is going to be on Jordan Cameron. Honestly, my money is going to be on Jordan Cameron. He was the least productive for the Miami Dolphins. And like I said, I feel that the Miami Dolphins can bring him back. I, I don't feel. I, I know the Miami Dolphins want to bring him back for cheap, but I don't. I don't see that happening considering. The type of player Jordan Cameron is, the just the, just the just the offensive weapon that he is. There's like he's not coming back to the Miami Dolphins, so we would have to make another roster move to actually getting a tight end at free agency. Now I know the Super Bowl's over and everything, and like that that casket's closed. Like we're basically we're talking about Peyton Manning Peyton Manning retirement, but I just want to put my little two cents in on that whole Cam Newton. 
press conference thing because everybody's being extremely critical of Cam Newton. Like, they don't like Cam Newton anymore. Like, it, it, it'd be a whole totally different story if Cam Newton would have won the Super Bowl. But considering how he was – he was uh, basically saying all these things like you can't categorize, you can't, you can't really put me in a category with all these other quarterbacks. That really rubbed on people the wrong way, and you can see in this how like we, uh, the Denver Broncos basically took you down a step on the ladder. Like people are just looking at you a totally different way. Now when I sit back and look at it, there's hey, there's no, there's no shame in Cam's game in my opinion. Like hey, you can dab all you want, still you're having a good time playing the game of football. You, 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 like I don't, I don't find that cocky. I don't call you a show off. Like you're having a good time. You're playing the game. <laughs> That's just how I sit back and look at it. But when I look at this press conference, every single time I look at this press conference, is the fact that still you have to act like a professional. Literally, you got to act like a professional. You can't. Like I don't, I don't care if uh, Chris Harris was having a conversation. Uh, not too far away from where you was where you were speaking at, but still you gotta act like a professional. You lost, it, losing happens all the time. Losing happens all the time. People know the saying: "What doesn't kill you makes you stronger." So, with that said, Cam needs to keep his head up and like just just chill out. Like this, better luck next year. Like everybody loses the Super Bowl from time to time. I know it's gonna be tough to bounce back from, but everybody loses the Super Super Bowl from time to time. Now, we are less than a month away from my favorite off-season event in the NFL. Like, I honestly, the NFL free agency is the best event in in the off-season for the NFL. Like, I care less about the draft. I can care less about the draft combine. Like, just 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 to see how things are just heating up so late in the uh, so uh so, so at the end of the season, it's just it's just so interesting to see like things heating up. What players are about to get cut? What players are already about to hit free agency? What players about to hit uh, get that franchise tag? It's just so exciting to sit back and and see and hear about those type of things. But and just and just just to see what kind of players that your team can actually pull in to act to like you know make your team better, just to make your team better. But uh, trivia question for you guys today is. I know, like I said, I'm trying to I'm trying to expand this whole Miami Dolphins thing. I want to make this I want to make this segment for NFL fans in general, not just for Miami Dolphins fans. And also, it gives me it gets me educated on exactly what players are about to hit free agency, what players are are making too much money, <laughs> are making too much money. So with that said, uh, the trivia question today is going to be. What top player on your team is about to hit free agency or is basically going to be a roster, possibly be a roster casualty? But uh, you know what it is. Uh, If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, I'm going to leave my Twitch information in the description. So please uh, subscribe to that. I think that's what they do. They subscribe on Twitch. I don't know. I I just made the thing. I'm just tired of YouTube always put me offline, but uh, yeah, you know what it is. Don't forget to hit that like and like and subscribe button. It's great one, Devore. I'm up out of here.